right friends welcome back to new set a glance this is 48th week and up to 4th december and here the first new set a glance is as per the finance ministry statement there are more than 2000 accounts with public sector banks which have debt exceeding rupees 50 crore and classified as non performing assets and nowadays non performing assets are bad loans are being debated and there are several mechanisms one mechanism is strategic debt restructuring the second one is selling the bad loan to asset reconstruction companies under the surface act the third one is s 4a so these are the mechanisms to solve the problem of bad loans so you should have clear idea about these mechanisms to solve bad loans then agra lucknow expressway last week we discussed 302 kilometers agra lucknow expressway was inaugurated here one important aspect is six fighter jets of indian air force were touched on the expressway using it as runway and three mirage fighters three sukhoi aircraft touched on the national highway using it as runway and don't forget sukhoi is manufactured by russia and mirage is manufactured by dassault aviation of france we are talking about rafale fighter jets the same firm manufactured this mirage fighter jets and six fighter jets three mirage and three sukhoi also landed on the expressway of agra to lucknow and don't forget emuna expressway connects noida to agra and this 302 kilometers expressway between agra to lucknow is the longest in the country and this is in uttar pradesh please don't forget then the number of currency notes that need to be printed is determined using a statistical model and some students have got doubts how the number of currency notes required are calculated they are calculated based on the statistical model what are the issues to be taken into consideration while deciding the number of notes there are several issues one is growth in gdp second issue is inflation third one is replacement of uh, soiled notes fourth one is increase in reserves by following these aspects the total requirement of currency notes are calculated by reserve bank of india and final decision will be taken by government of india this is as far as currency is concerned but if you look at the coins reserve bank of india has got no role as far as coins are concerned but reserve bank of india takes care of the distribution of coins through small coin depots we learnt about currency chests so currency chests as well as small coin depots these are used for distribution of currency as well as coins across the country and these are maintained by reserve bank of india what i mean to convey is these are under reserve bank of india managed by some bank on behalf of reserve bank of india they are managed by one bank on behalf of reserve bank of india at one place maybe by state bank of india at other place by canara bank at other place icici bank like that they are managed on behalf of the central bank this is one important point then president elect of united states of america donald trump stated that he will investigate all the abuses of visa programs that undercut american workers here h1b visa this program brings 85000 skilled workers to america every year and here there are allegations that the companies that seek h1b visas have misutilized the provision and now donald trump stated that us department of labor will investigate into h1b visa abuses and don't forget out of 85000 
most of these H1B visas are cornered by Indian firms. Right friends, so look at the next one. SEBI relaxed investment rules for angel investors in startups. Startup companies. There are several types of investments for startup companies. One is angel investment, then venture capital, angel investment, venture capital as well as private equity. These are known as alternative investment funds. Alternative investment funds are regulated by SEBI and at the same time recently NR Narayana Murthy committee gave the recommendations and based on NR Narayana Murthy committee recommendations recently SEBI announced the rules for angel investors. Several rules were liberalized. The first one is total number of angel investors who can fund a startup increased from 49 to 200. Second one is the minimum investment limit reduced to rupees 25 lakh from rupees 50 lakh. Like that I have given here there are certain modifications made so as to ensure investments for startup firms in our country. Majority of the startup firms are accessing finance from abroad. Now the government's intention is this startups are to be nurtured by Indian funds and Indian angel investors, venture capital firms should nurture these startups with that in intention. Narayana Murthy committee was constituted based on its recommendations. Now Securities and Exchange Board of India liberalized certain rules. India is submitting formal proposal on a trade facilitation agreement in services. Please don't forget, India signed trade facilitation agreement for goods a few months ago. India signed trade facilitation agreement for goods. Now India is more interested similar agreement for services because India is facing several problems with regard to the access of our software professionals in other countries, especially countries like China. And now Donald Trump became the president elect of USA and what will be the situation in future in United States of America, no one knows. And for that purpose, India is pushing for trade facilitation agreement for services. Look into the next one, eminent journalist Dilip Padgaonkar, who was associated with the largest English daily of the country, the Times of India passed away recently at Pune and he was associated with Times of India for several years, appointed as its editor in 1988 and he was honored with the France's highest civilian distinction. He worked in Paris for several years as the Times of India correspondent. India is going to join as associate member of European Organization for Nuclear Research. This is based in Geneva, Switzerland. It is the Particle Physics Laboratory. All of you are familiar with fundamental particles like quarks, photons and this organization is basically the Particle Physics Laboratory and India will become associate member and remaining things if you want. We deliberated under capsule of 47th week. Please view it. Central government recently announced a new committee headed by the Chief Executive Officer of Niti Aayog, Amitabh Kant, to form a strategy to expedite cashless payments. And meanwhile, a subcommittee was also formed headed by Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister and Amitabh Kant was appointed as member secretary to that subcommittee. So if someone talks about Amitabh Kant, he is behind the expedition of cashless payments. Look into the next one. Income tax department decided to implement project insight basically to monitor high value transactions, basically to curb the circulation of black money. And here, permanent account number, 
who gives permanent account number permanent account number is given by income tax department permanent account number will be the unique identifier and by using various social media platforms like facebook twitter it will look at tax evaders with the tools of data mining big data and analytics and this project insight would be rigorously executed from the financial year 2017-18 right by using social media platforms this project insight will look at tax evaders if someone talks about project insight that is the initiative of ministry of finance basically income tax department union textiles minister smruti irani launched pehchan this pehchan was launched in ahmedabad and this is the scheme to register and provide identity cards to handicraft artisans and this will be linked with aadhar number and subsequently they will receive direct benefit transfers nowadays everything is being linked with aadhar number and now in our country more than 99% of the adult indians have got aadhar and total aadhar numbers reached 108 crore this is as per the statement given by unique identification authority of india right look into the next one famous journalist malini subramaniam who reported about the naxal infested bastar area of chatisgarh this bastar area if i am talking about bastar area it is famous for iron ore it is famous for bailadilla iron ore mines it is in chatisgarh and she reported about naxal infested bastar area and this award that is international press freedom award this was instituted by committee to protect the journalists it is independent ngo based in new york and four journalists were awarded out of four malini subramaniam is from india please look into this picture these four were awarded look into the next one nabard will disperse rupees 21000 crore to help farmers for the sowing of rabi crops all of you are familiar with nabard i need not explain it was established in 1982 basically to ensure credit flow to agriculture small scale industries sectors based on shivaraman committee recommendations it was established and now rabi sowing season is going on if you look at november december this is the sowing season of rabi and you may ask what are the rabi crops please look into this picture wheat chickpea mustard barley these are rabi crops and recently central government took a decision not to exchange notes by central cooperative banks that is the reason why nabard immediately disbursed rupees 21000 crores to help farmers right having learned this let us move on to the next one indian american governor of south carolina state nikki heli nikki heli was born to indian immigrants and she is going to assume one of the most important positions that is us ambassador to the united nations so nikki heli who is the governor of south carolina since 2011 will be us ambassador to the united nations indian railways is going to introduce trinetra we just now discussed about project insight project insight belongs to income tax department and now trinetra is going to be introduced this trinetra is advanced system it will use high resolution optical video camera at the same time high sensitivity infrared video camera and radar based terrain mapping system so it uses infrared as well as radar technology to collect signals up to a distance of around 2 to 3 kilometers and if anything is ahead within this 2 to 3 kilometers they will be displayed on the screen 
fitted in front of the driver of the locomotive. So, by using this radar based terrain mapping system as well as infrared video camera and optical video camera. So, by using all these aspects, now Indian Railways is going to introduce Trinetra. It will be highly useful during fog, heavy rains and during night times. In case of any physical obstruction, it will alert the drivers and give sufficient time for the drivers to apply the brakes and stop the train. It will prevent the collisions. Look into the next one. Dr. Sonam Wang Chuk from Ladakh region of Jammu and Kashmir was awarded with the prestigious 2016 Rolex Awards for Enterprise. What is this Rolex? Rolex is the watch belongs to Switzerland. All of you are familiar with. Please look into this picture. This award was instituted by the Swiss wristwatch company Rolex and it is aimed at fostering a spirit of enterprise around the world. This award is given to five laureates and five associate laureates for pioneering efforts to expand knowledge which ultimately improved human life. This laureates will receive 1 lakh dollars and associate laureates will receive 50 thousand dollars. And what Wang Chuk has done? He is the famous educationist and social scientist. He has done pioneering work by building artificial glaciers, ice stupas to store water for irrigation purpose. Please look into this. Ice stupas were made by him to store water for irrigation purpose. And at the same time, afforestation of desert land was also undertaken by him. So, for these efforts, he was given 2016 Rolex Awards for Enterprise. Then 47th International Film Festival of India was held in Goa and it was inaugurated by the veteran filmmaker Ramesh Sippi. That is one aspect. Here, South Korea is the focus country. There are two important awards given. One is the Lifetime Achievement Award that was given to Kwon Taek, South Korean film director and writer. And at the same time, famous playback singer S.P. Balasubramaniam got Centenary Award for Indian Film Personality of the Year. Right, these two things are very important. South Korea is the focus country. Gaganjit Singh Bhular, famous golfer, he won the 2016 Bank Bree JCB Indonesia Open. Bank Bree JCB Indonesia Open was won by Gaganjit Singh Bhular. Look into the next one. Denton Kule. He is the famous heart surgeon from United States of America. He died recently and what is so special about Denton Kule? He is the man who performed the world's first total artificial heart transplant. So, the man associated with the world's first total artificial heart transplant, Denton Kule died recently because of advanced age. Spiritual Guru Sri Sri Ravi Sankar was honored with Dr. Nagendra Singh International Peace Award. You may ask who is Dr. Nagendra Singh? Please don't forget, Dr. Nagendra Singh was the first Indian judge to the International Court of Justice, The Hague, Netherlands. All of you are familiar with International Court of Justice. It is in The Hague, Netherlands. And in the name of Dr. Nagendra Singh, this award was instituted, International Peace Award. In the name of Dr. Nagendra Singh, Sri Sri Ravi Sankar, Spiritual Guru got this award. Pankaj Patel is the new president of Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry. And the outgoing president is Harshwardhan Niyotia and Pankaj Patel will be the incoming president. Fiki full form I have given here, please go through it and it was established in 1927 at the instance of Mahatma Gandhi. 
घनश्याम दास बिरला एंड पुरुषोत्तम दास ठाकुर दास एस्टाब्लिश दिस फिकी एंड अराउंड टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड कंपनीज और मेंबर्स इट इज नॉन गवर्नमेंट नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बेस्ड ऑन द एडवाइस ऑफ महात्मा गांधी इट वॉज एस्टाब्लिश्ड एंड द मेन एक्टिविटीज बिजनेस प्रमोशन नेटवर्किंग पॉलिसी रिफॉर्म्स वांगाला फेस्टिवल दिस इज बीइंग हेल्ड एवरी ईयर एमोंग दी गरो ट्राइब्स ऑफ मेघालया last week we learnt about the sangai festival sangai festival is a manipur we also learned about hornbill festival hornbill festival is in nagaland and now wangala festival wangala festival is meghalaya this is annual post harvest festival and this is also known as 100 drum festival and its main theme is tribal groups offering sacrifices to please the sun god international telecommunication union recently published ict development index what exactly the meaning of ict development index it tracks the latest developments regarding information and communication technologies and our rank is not up to the mark we ranked 138 out of 175 countries top 5 i have given please go through them south korea is leading and india's rank is 138 out of 175 countries and it indicates that a lot more needs to be done as far as digital india of india is concerned and international telecommunication union is headquartered in geneva switzerland don't forget delhi high court quashed the ban imposed on 344 fixed dose combination drugs by the central government and you may ask what is meant by fixed dose combination drugs if you look into this it will be very clear to you vix action 500 and corex these are examples of fixed dose combination drugs i have given particulars details about fixed dose combination drugs this involve combining two or more drugs into one pill and there is lot of controversy with regard to whose approval is to be taken and all i am not going into these details if you want more please view the capsule part and they were banned by the central government because of two reasons central government felt that they were risky to humans second point is alternative drugs are available when alternative drugs are available what is the need to go for this combination drugs that's why these were banned but the delhi high court felt that the center had acted in a haphazard manner and it has not taken into consideration the advice of statutory bodies or you can say it has not taken the advice of statutory bodies look into the next one lucknow metro trial run was flagged off by the chief minister akhilesh yadav and undertaken by lucknow metro rail corporation and don't forget metro man e sridharan who is familiar because of delhi metro and don't forget metro man sridharan is also associated with konkan railway so konkan railway delhi metro these are all the hallmarks of uh, e sridharan and shridharan is behind this lucknow metro rail corporation also and 4 kilometers between transport nagar and singil nagar metro stations was opened for trial right and please don't forget recently central cabinet or union cabinet gave approval for metro in pune don't forget look into the next one vitiya sakshrata abhiyan or visakha vitiy sakshrata abhiyan this is basically to make people aware about the cashless economic system this was launched by the union ministry of human resource development and this is basically with an aim to create awareness among people about the digital economy under this visakha that is vitiy sakshrata abhiyan students and faculty members will be roped in to motivate people to use digitally enabled cashless economic system for transfer of funds 
look into the next one digital payments and commerce platform paytm this is transferring its valid business into the newly created payments bank and this paytm the man behind this paytm is vijay shekhar sharma he is the founder of paytm and 40% shareholding is by chinese e-commerce company alibaba and now this paytm is coming up with the payments bank and in the payments bank sharma required to have a majority shareholding of 51% right look into the next one chitra ramkrishna who is familiar with national stock exchange as md and ceo resigned recently citing the personal reasons and j ravichandran will be the interim ceo and in the year 1992 nse was set up with the help of five technocrats which include chitra ramkrishna also in the year 2013 she was elevated to the post and ceo and she is supposed to be in that post till 2018 and she was the second highest paid executive at rupees 3.3 crore per annum in the financial services industry then rbi introduced incremental crr of 100% for the deposits received in the banking system between september 16 and november 11 and recently rbi has withdrawn this stipulation right and if you want more about this incremental crr as well as market stabilization scheme please view the capsule part opec countries opec is organization of the petroleum exporting countries and at present please don't forget there are 13 members indonesia's membership was taken out now there are 13 members in opec which was formed in 1961 headquarters vienna austria and it constitutes almost one third of the global crude oil production and recently opec countries decided to reduce the production of crude oil because the supply is more than the demand that's why prices are crashing so as to improve the prices opec countries decided to reduce the production and subsequently the price of crude petroleum increased almost 10% right so with this let us conclude news at a glance please do join for other modules so have a nice day thank you